Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Evangelist, and this is the second infantry release from Ori Toy's Acid Rain line. It says infantry right there on the box. The Agertz Infantry is a straight-up troop builder in the Desert 88 color scheme, and I bought three because I have a lot of self-restraint. So, review time. These guys have a very similar sculpt to the Soul Commander figure, so much so that if you pop some ball joints and undress the figures down to their most bare plastic forms, they appear to be identical. At least, like, I think they are. Unless I'm missing some minor joint tweaks or other retoolings, these two share the same base body, and that ain't exactly a bad thing, though it does mean the Agerts Infantry have got lanky arms and permanent gas masks. The two new costume pieces come in the form of an army hat and a tactical utilicilt with suspenders. The helmet is pretty cool and fits nicely over the gas mask head sculpt. The suspender tunic skirt thing also looks good, but is constantly riding up the Agert's body, which causes the shoulder straps to just hover in the air. It's easy to fix, but it happens all the time when I'm posing these guys, and is by far the weakest point of the whole figure. Paint-wise, there's a whole lot more sandy beige than on the Soul Commander, and I like how it looks. Many of the colors and placements are varied, but there are shared bits of palette between these guys and the Soul Commanders, which helps bring a display of them together as a unit. And of course, the weathering and applications are fairly intense all around, as per the Acid Rain usual. As for weaponry, each Agerts Infantry includes three guns apiece. There's a pistol, a machine gun or rifle, I'm not sure which, and a big, friendly Gatling gun. While there's no storage on the figure to holster unused weapons, you can wedge either of the smaller guns inside the flexible suspender pieces. The Gatling gun needs to be held, but, like, I feel okay about that. Its barrel section can turn, though rather stiffly. It won't, like, spin if you just flick it. All three weapons can be held very naturally by the Agers infantry, and especially in the case of the Gatling gun, I think that really speaks to the range of the toy's posability. Which, I'm gonna talk about in more detail, right now. So these guys have the same base buck as the Soul Commander, so the posability is not going to be all that much different, but I'll do a quick run through anyway, because why not? There is a ball joint at the base of the head connecting it to the neck, and then the base of the neck has its own ball joint, so it can do that kind of stuff. Uh, there is a simple forward backward swivel, a very softly detented uh, pin disc on the shoulder, a uh, somewhat more tightly detented pin disc on the elbow, which also has a bicep swivel, which can sometimes be a bit loose. Uh, the wrists can swivel. This wrist has a joint here, very G.I. Joe style, so it can bend like that, or uh, inwards like that. And then this wrist has a different joint in the other direction, so it can do that, which helps a lot with machine gun type of poses, like this fellow over here. Um, the waist is still a hard cut, which is great at pushing the hips into the skirt, and then bumping the skirt up like that. Um, the lack of a like tight, grippy vest means this guy's mid-torso joint is way more open for posability, so it's, uh, it's a very solid ball joint. The only problem is that the more you pose this guy's waist and midsection, the more that his suspenders start to float. And uh, you can yank back down uh, on this thing to get them back in line, but if you start twisting his waist and moving his legs so they're pushing up here as well, it becomes very difficult to keep the suspenders uh, from looking a bit silly. So, it's a bummer. And uh, it's something you gotta deal with with the Agerts. Uh, I'm okay with it. Uh, I just try not to get these guys into too acrobatic or dynamic a pose. Like, something like this. This thing is going to be sticking up no matter what you do. So, be aware of that. Also be aware of the ball socket joint on the hip, which is real nice and tight and free wheeling. There is a dedicated thigh swivel, two heavily de detented joints on the knees, uh, which can look a little Play Arts Kai-ish, I think I said before, but as long as you know what you're doing, uh, they can also look real natural and are dead solid, and if you want, you can also break the dude's leg. The foot can swivel left and right, right above the shoe, and then there is a somewhat sticky, squishy, tight joint for uh, forward and backward tiltage. If you, and then there's also a, a tilt here, it's just a simple peg going into the shoe. And if you're having trouble getting this joint to go all the way up, tilt this thing, and then you can get a bit more leverage in there to get it to the very top of its, uh, its orientation on the, this axis. So, these guys are nicely posable. Uh, having more freedom of torso crunch is also pleasant. Uh, I just wish that this stuff didn't do that all the time, because it's a little bit annoying.
Man, I love the overall package of the Agert's Infantry, what with the trifecta of weapon options and lovely matching yet varied colors to allow a number of them to spruce up a Soul Commander and Desert Vehicle display, but those suspender tunics are the worst! If there had been a locking peg or something to keep them attached to the figure's waistline, this would be a different story. But as it is, they are real annoying semi-soft goods to deal with. By no means is tugging down on a skirt now and then a deal breaker, but if it weren't for that, I'd say these guys are the easiest of recommendations. As it is, they're still pretty good, but try and handle one before you start troop building a squad of Agert's infantry. If you can deal with the suspenders, they are very nicely built for squad display, and I want to give Oritori a big high five for packing in three weapon options with every figure. Also, I guess this is the best time to point out that I am probably pronouncing Agert's incorrectly. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Evangelist, and the opening stage of Acid Rain had a decidedly desert-themed bend to its releases. But it's 2015 now, and Sandy Beige isn't the only colorway on the Acid Burn block.